Hello, my name is Afton Vanerswag and I work in technical support here at IDT. And what we are going to show you is the way in which you can design a probe sequence against two primer sequences that you already have designed. So the example I'm going to show you is going to be with a human gap DH sequence. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the accession number for this sequence. I just clicked enter to get the sequence to populate uh, in this sequence box. I could also click get sequence if I wanted to. In order for me to enter those primer sequences, I first need to choose this show custom design parameters. Since it defaults to general PCR, I'm going to switch this over to qPCR just to make sure I can also see the probe information and so that the tool knows it needs to design a probe for my two primer sequences. So in this partial design input section, that is the section that I'm going to put the forward and reverse primer sequences in. So first I'm going to go ahead and paste those in here. And then once I have those both pasted in, since I only have one option left, which is the probe sequence, uh, that's what the tool will design for. So I'm going to go ahead and click get assays and as you can see it did give me one set returned if I wanted to see the actual probe sequence I can go ahead and click view assay details just to double check to make sure that my forward and reverse primers are the ones that I actually input into the tool which it is so I could just go ahead and order just the probe from this area or I could order the entire assay so that was a quick review of how to design a probe sequence when you have a forward and reverse primer sequence already designed. If you have any other questions, you can go ahead and contact tech support here at IDT. Thanks.